person that you use the lightsaber, right? What just happened? Something broke. Well, I actually have no clue what happened to my saber. Um, I haven't opened it yet. I was spinning it on a TikTok live and then I felt something pop inside. So, uh, the retention screws were stripped and I couldn't really tighten them without the, um, with the heavy gray blade in there. So I'm just gonna take out the chassis and uh, I can feel it. Like, I don't know what that is. I think the speaker came off or something happened with the chassis, I don't know. I'm not recording to expose Bendu Armory. I'm recording for my own sake. So if I can send it back, I can just prove what happened. Let's see. I know the saber still works. It's just really muffled. Still, still turns on and everything. So I swear to God, the speaker fell off while spinning. So let's just lightly. Yeah, this, the speaker fell out. So I don't know if that was me just spinning it too fast. I, I do spin my sabers a lot, but um, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay, so I just fixed the problem itself, but that just really scared me because I thought I was gonna have to send it in. It's not even that the speaker is blown out, I guess just like spinning it at the speed that I was spinning it, just pushed it out of the socket. But um, that was crazy. Um, everything about the Sabre is fine, it still works. It's just the speaker just came out of the housing. Yeah, I... Wow, that really scared me. Um, again, this is not a video to like expose Bendu Armory. They're a very, very good quality company. I just don't know what happened there. I wasn't using the heavy gray blade, um, Bendu Armory blade that they sent me. That is actually in my Saber Trio of Vulcan as we, as we speak. And for the Bendu Armory Saber, I was using my medium grade um, Saber Trio Saber. You have lost. So as you can see, the sound is a lot better and the blade is a little dim on one side because the Sabre Trio blade is broken. Um, all right, it seems to be working fine now, but that just happened on a live while I was just spinning the Sabre. Um, I don't think that's supposed to happen. But um, I, I, I don't know if it was my saber turned all the way up, but if you turn the volume too low on the saber, you won't be able to hear anything because the sound venting only comes through these um, cracks right here and through the main emitter. It doesn't come through any resonance holes in the pommel for um, a design purpose that Bendu Armory has stated for me. And I don't know if I do have to send this thing back. But as I said, after I just popped it back in, it seemed to work fine. Just it, it, it escaped the housing. And um, I do duel with these sabers. I spin them quite a lot every day. So I don't know if just me using it a lot has something to do with the structural integrity of the speaker housing. But um, yeah, it just scared me. And I knew once it happened, I would have to turn on the video camera and just, you know, prove that it wasn't me tampering with it. And it was just, you know, it just happened randomly. So this is not to demean or expose Bendu Armory. I fully support Bendu Armory and their carbon fiber sabers. I absolutely love the radium. It's a fun design. Definitely got to get a lighter um, blade for it because the retention screws aren't strong enough to hold the heavy grade blade in unless you tighten it all the way. And I've already stripped my screws just doing that. So I have to get new ones, which is why I was using the medium grade blade. And this is simply just a spot on like random problem that just happened to me and i'll be sure to download the clip that when it happened and i'll edit it in this video somewhere <laughs> The this, this speaker still works fine. The soldering wasn't damaged at all. It just scared me that it popped out. And I know that shouldn't be able to happen. 
if uh, Bendu Armory sees this, um, if you could come and contact me and just let me know if I need to ship it back. And um, obviously I'll contact you. So if you don't see the video, I can just, you know, ask you right then and there. But um, it did scare me. I, I did spend a lot of money on the Sabre. So having to send it back for repairs after waiting for a while to get it would would have killed me. Sorry, I haven't been posting on YouTube, but it is the end for my college sophomore year semester. So next year I'll be a junior, next year I'll be in my own apartment. So just a lot of grown up stuff happening with me right now. So if you see a slowdown of content on my YouTube, that is why, but I'll still be posting regularly on TikTok and I'll still be streaming on Twitch as well. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, I, I just post random pictures with my lightsabers on Instagram, that's it. Thank you again for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and share it to your friends and leave a like if you thought this video was interesting, me getting scared over a broken saber, um, which is the last thing you should be getting scared about in life. There's a lot more scary things to affect your life, but a broken saber is the number one thing on my list. So um, this is Grego Jedi. I'll see you in the next video. I don't know.